Hey guys, welcome to this late night edition of BGC Dreams. I'm here with Jenny, and we actually just found out that the Ayala Triangle Festival of Light is actually debuting tonight, November 10th. So kind of on a whim, we just decided to head out there and do another walking tour. Yeah, you can see from the weather, it looks like it's probably gonna rain again. It's kind of just our luck, which seems to always be the case. And it's almost sunset. But we'll try to make do and get over there in the next hour before the show starts at 6 p.m. sharp. All right, see ya. All right, so let's begin. We're heading down 2nd Avenue and 32nd Street, and um, it's actually about rush hour right now, so it's like 5.13 p.m. in the evening, and you can kind of see uh, what the hustle and bustle is like in Manila or the NCR region. I actually never noticed the wall arts in this side of the road because maybe I'm always asleep when I'm in this road because it's always traffic. You know, I still remember my first night into Manila and um, I wasn't staying at BGC, but I was staying at, again, Ridgewood Towers, which is still in Taguig and right outside. It took me three hours to get from the airport to the hotel. That's actually fast already. I was like, this world is a very different and crazy place, you know. It's crazy because without traffic, you can actually get to the airport in like less than 30 minutes. Right, because the distance-wise, it's not actually that far. Yeah. It's just you're stuck in traffic. Back in Cali, I used to hear things when people would say, oh, I'm on Manila time. I really never knew what it meant until I came to Manila. It's Filipino time. This is why it really helps to have a motorbike in the Philippines. You can kind of just skate around all the traffic. Bumper to bumper traffic. And it is now 5.21 p.m. Are we near? I think we're doing okay on time, but uh, we're probably not gonna be able to take many breaks if we wanna get there before 6 p.m. We still have more than half an hour to go to get to Ayala Triangle. I don't know if we can actually make it by 6 p.m., but we'll try. Oh my God, the noise is gonna drive you crazy. I mean, the gate is literally next to the main road. So it's actually been a while since Jenny and I have really spent any time in Makati, which is the other major central business district here in the NCR region and the one closest to BGC. Uh, there is a lot of debate, you know, amongst people, like which is a better place to live, mm -hmm. you know, Makati or BGC. I think they both have their pros and cons. Jay, stay at the sidewalk. <laughs> Okay, please forgive us. We were trying to get over the underpass because it got really, really noisy. Uh, so I'll try it again. So for me, I think the one distinction between Makati and BGC that I see that is most obvious is that BGC is a little bit more homogenous than Makati. And what I mean by that is when you go from block to block, in BGC, you don't really see as much variation. Whereas in Makati, you have some very like developed and high-end and clean areas. Oh, sorry. Let me just yeah, walk we're back walking on the, at uh, <laughs> back the, on the bike sidewalk. Bike, bike. What do you bike lane? <laughs> Whereas in Makati, I think it's actually more of a block by block kind of thing. Where again, some areas are very nice and developed, yeah. but then other areas, uh, let's say, there's just more like potholes and cracks and things like that, like infrastructurally. Because of course, Makati is much older than BGC. Yeah. The sidewalk is kind of small, it barely fits two people, so Jay is always very, in the bike lane. Very, very small. <laughs> um, People are gonna, gonna shout at you. Here we go again. Yeah. You know, you just gotta hop on and off, back and forth. Hop on. Yeah. Try to walk and chew gum at the same time. Uh, yeah, so I was saying, what was I saying? So with all that said, I would still add that Makati has a lot of things to offer, and there are still many things that you can kind of only find there and not in, even in a place like BGC. Right now it's still only about 5.30 p.m. so I think traffic is actually going to get even worse than this. Yep, people get up at 5 so I think the traffic is just actually starting. Yeah, you can really see it never lets up. 
you know, the traffic, whether from the cars or from pedestrians. It's really just people everywhere. Oh, finally, wide sidewalks <laughs> at Forbes Park. Let it rich. We actually just got a comment from a viewer who wanted to see more of uh, Forbes Park, so here you go. I don't know what you can really see inside here, but I hope this helps you out a bit, my friend. So there's this uh, overpass right here full of people. We are going to try to get on there somehow. Uh, okay, we are at uh, Forbes Park, kind of where the entrance is here. We're kind of lost, yeah. but I guess Jenny and I are going to try to have to squeeze through this small little opening here. So if there's somebody going to our direction, it, it, it won't be able to fit two people. <laughs> yeah, this careful. is, oh man, this is so crazy. I think I need to start dieting. That's where we came from? Yep. This looks like it's going to be the start of bumper to bumper traffic, huh? Yeah. There it goes. <laughs> Getting congested. Oh, good luck, everyone. Danos. Buendia Station. Yep, and this is where the MRT is. Yeah, that's why there's like a lot of people. Since again, there's no subway yet, this is uh, the best that we have to work with for now. MRT. I actually used to work in Makati, so I'm quite familiar with these, especially the MRT. I guess that's like your. You're saving grace when you're wa when you're working in Makati and you go home to BGC. Your MRT is your saving grace. I used to line up for one to two hours just to hop on the train. It's getting dark. It's nostalgic seeing those people lining up, you know, because I used to do that. I wouldn't say it was fun. <laughs> it wasn't. And now you're a full-time staff on BGC <laughs> Dreams. BGC, BGC Dreams doesn't pay me enough. <laughs> <laughs> One day at a time, guys. Trabajo, 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 right, Jenny? Guys, watch our videos 24 7 so we can finally hit 4,000 views and monetize our channel. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Actually, make it? I don't know, but let's just keep swimming. Back to my point on infrastructure, we are just uh, at the bottom of the Buendia station entrance, I guess, or exit. And you can see that there's really no lighting here. So once we really reach night, um, I wouldn't imagine walking down here is much fun at all. No, that's very dangerous. <laughs> you can kind of see a street light right here. I'm not sure if it's actually going to light up or not, but right now it's not helping much. Okay. <laughs> what are you doing? Just trying to get around. These people inside their car might think that we're crazy. Why are we even walking? <laughs> it's the cheapest form of transport right now. I Gas and inflation are next level. Like, everyone is looking at us. I hope, I wish you guys can see them. <laughs> well, we're hitting two birds in one stone. Ayala lights and exercise. That's a great way to put a positive spin on things, Jenny. I need exercise. We've been eating really bad the past few days. Okay, it's getting pretty dark here. We don't have much light, so I'm sure this image quality doesn't look too good. KPA. Whoa. Ooh. Oh, actually it does light up. Here we go. That's <laughs> a little better. So once upon a time ago... Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's hard. Oh, God. Why is everyone mad? Uh... Look familiar? Civilization! Ayala Maz, woohoo! Civilization! Oh! Here it is, Makati, Central Business District. We are already in Makati, woot woot! It's actually funny for, you know, for those, for our foreign... Welcome to Makati! <laughs> hey! <laughs> That's what I mean when I said BGC is different. It's actually funny because like, when you search BGC on Google Maps, it would actually be under Makati. <laughs> Okay, this is feeling more and more like Makati. So now Jenny and I just have to find out where the triangle is. Paved road! And this is what I also meant when I said some parts are better than others. <laughs> so this is one of the better parts. And it looks like we found the SM Mall, SM Makati, and Glorietta 5. It is now 5.49, so Jenny and I have less than 10 minutes to get to the lights. 
We'll see you guys there. We're gonna try to get to Ayala Triangle in less than 10 minutes from this Rustins right here. So for those of you who know their way around Makati much better than us, you can leave a comment below whether you think we'll make it or not. <laughs> Don't try to fast forward the vlog. <laughs> Let's go, Jay. <laughs> oh, wow. They just turned on the lights. Did you see that? Just right now? Yeah, just right now. Okay, so... This... I, think, I think I was able to film it. This is oh. not Ayala Triangle, but it's also a noteworthy um, light display. Oh no, maybe it already started. Why are they, why are they lighting this? Okay, 10 minutes to Ayala Triangle. Oh you man. Said, you said that five minutes ago. Oh man, we gotta hurry, Jenny. We gotta go. <laughs> Did this change any? Oh, seven minutes. Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> So right now it's 5.53 Oops. <laughs> and this is where we are. We are on uh... Ayala Avenue in Pondo. Oh God, I don't think we will make it. Oh, look at these lights. It's Ranjay. Look at Jenny cheating. <laughs> Trying to get there before 6 p.m. <laughs> I'm running, okay? <laughs> Guess you're rushing your ride on the road. <laughs> oh, this is where Sarah is staying now. Right now? Yeah, right now. <laughs> Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. I know you're there. Sarah, the Rish. You will meet her soon. Okay, I don't know if we mess up our direction somewhere when we we're busy trying to run, but... <laughs> <laughs> Follow these guys right here. That's the I that's Ayala Triangle. Are you sure? No, but that's where everybody is. It has to be. That's Blackbird. Oh, that's Blackbird. That has to be. <laughs> Blackbird 2.0? Okay, I'm just standing in front of Blackbird right here. We were actually just here last week. Uh, I'll try to include a picture for you guys, but uh, definitely can't afford it again. So, <laughs> we out of here. Are you sure this is the way, not the other way? Oh, I don't know anymore. It's too dark. Oh my god, I see it now. Okay. Char. <laughs> okay, I think we have made it to Ayala Triangle somewhere. Uh, it is now 5.57. Three we minutes. Have, we have three minutes to figure out where to go. Okay, we're just entering Ayala Triangle and it is like super dark here. Just follow the lights. What lights? <laughs> oh, there! I think that is... Oh, no! It's where the people is yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah. Okay, we gotta go. Okay, Jenny doesn't want to be late, so <laughs> LFG. I don't know if we're supposed to cross here. Probably but yeah, not. we're just cutting into, I don't know, trees. I see trees. But see, the majority of the people is here and this is the most lit up place. Okay, it is 6 p.m. on the dot, and we have made it. Oh, wow, there's so many people. We have made it to the Ayala Triangle Festival of Lights. There's so many people. <laughs> Just trying to blend in. Make it happen, Jenny. Make it happen. Did you know that Pinoy's love to say the praise in a while so the light show will happen in a while you just don't know when but in a while that's very comforting and reassuring let me tell you rest assured jay it's gonna happen <laughs> another pinoy thing to say <laughs> rest assured it's gonna happen in a while make it happen makati make it happen with you see dreams <laughs> okay so there's like a grace period it doesn't start exactly at six it's uh, the grace period for BGC Dreams. Oh, okay. Yeah. I really appreciate that, Makati <laughs> and Ayala Land. Thank you. <laughs> Guys, I'm just making this up, okay? <laughs> okay, here we go, here we go. I see the important people getting up. Ooh. Here we go.
pictures for Instagram? We'll post Instagram. Jenny, how was it? It was beautiful. <laughs> I think I was transported to the Disneyland. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> Where is Just it? like that. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that in the States before. Really? Well, no, we don't have anything like that. Uh, well, I kind of miss it because uh, it's like a tradition here in the Philippines, especially in Makati. So this is a, a tradition, like every year. They, they do this every year. Oh, so. thanks, thanks God, the lights. <laughs> <laughs> so after a few years, I'm really glad they have it back now because yeah. it really adds to the holiday vibes and, you know, it just makes you feel so happy and carefree. It makes you feel Christmassy. Exactly. I mean, look at the people around. There's like so many people here. I see families, I see, I see kids, and I, 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 I actually hear the kids. A while ago, they were like screaming, you know, when the lights started uh, turning on. So it's fun because like, you know, Christmas is for kids and it's just amazing to, to see them again outside. And that's all for this episode of BGC Dreams. We really hope you enjoyed the light show here at Ayala Triangle. And I guess that's an official entry into the Christmas holiday. Yep. So if you guys, you know, near Makati, you can probably go here at night and see how, see the beauty of the lights here. Yeah, they're going to be offering it for quite a while. So yes. anyways, again, thank you guys for your time and we'll see you on the next vlog. Bye. Take care.